Hi everybody, this is Scott Wynkiewicz, and I am currently in Aurora HDR 2017. This is a new version. The previous version, there was actually two. There was Aurora HDR and Aurora HDR Pro. And now they're about to release 2017, which is a jam-packed version. It has uh, everything from the Pro version plus some really cool new things. And so I want to show you some of my favorite features. These are features that are still being refined because the product's not out. I am testing a beta, but it is, these features are really cool. So check this out. Um, first, let me just quickly show you, I'm gonna do a quick edit right here of the bottom half of this of this bracket. And this is three photos. I just exported from Lightroom. This is a uh, zero, a minus one, a plus one, right? Just very simple HDR, right? So this is actually from Denver. I'm actually looking over the city right here, and you can see I just increased the uh, the exposure. Uh, uh, I'm really looking at the bottom of half of the frame. I increased the exposure. I'm going to do some smart tone, add some contrast, and I think that might be all I'm going to do right there, um, just for example sake. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a mask. I'm going to add a gra uh, gradient mask. I'm going to rotate that and make that zero. Let's see the, where, where it's actually masking. And I'm gonna move it down to about there. And I actually want to, uh, yeah, hit okay. Now that is only impacting the uh, bottom, the bottom of the photo, right? Now the top is dark. It's the, the normal HDR merged, simple, right? Nothing nothing there, I actually, it's, it's masked out, it's zeroed, right? And you can see that the clouds are actually moving. So this HDR has three clouds moving in the sky and that does not look good. So what I wanna do, and this is something that you would have to, and normally in, in HDR software, you'd have to go back to Photoshop or whatever and then add another layer of the original uh, bracket and then so on. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit plus layer and I'm gonna add in our HDR bracket and I'm gonna add the zero the uh, zero frame and you can see it added a new layer to the photo and it's actually one of the brackets it's not the three merged as HDR and now what I can do is I can go ahead and I can insert another uh, gradient just for the sky and let's show the mask perfect and then I can go ahead and I can just work on the sky separate and again it's one bracket which is a brilliant thing um, I can work on the sky separate, and I can go ahead and I can add contrast to that. I could do some clarity if I want to bring out some punch of that, but I don't. I actually am going to add some radiance. I'm going to add a little bit of glow. And then what I want to do is I'm going to add some of the polarizing filter. Again, another new feature. So the first one is I can add a layer from an HDR bracket. And the second is I can add a polarizing filter. Now, I, I may not like it on the clouds, I don't have to keep it, I can remove it, but I'm gonna add just a little bit. It's plus seven right now from the polarizing filter. And then that's it, right? So that is good. Now I'm gonna add another another layer. Um, and let's actually save that mask, let that render, and there. Now I have the bottom, the top is good. Now I can add another mask. I can add an adjustment layer. Now let's say I want to do uh, luminos luminosity masking. This is a really cool thing. I can just, hover over the the um, the uh, the tone levels there the the levels and I can click on a, a range of luminosities that I want to edit in the zone system right so here we go I can go ahead and uh, two now I can edit just you can see here right now it's the um, the uh, trees are actually being uh, chosen right there. I can go ahead and I can find some more. Now I got the grass is also chosen. Let's see what next. The buildings, so that's too much. So right now, if I wanna create this mask, I can hit, hit create luminosity mask. And now it's gonna create a mask only on what I selected, which is the trees and the grass. And now I can go ahead and adjust only that. And that means it's, I can adjust color. I can adjust shadows and highlight only on those specific areas without having to go ahead and brush it or use a gradient or whatever. It's just choosing that for me in the mask. Look at this layer over here. It's choosing it for me in the mask. Now I can go ahead and I can increase exposure of just those areas. I can zero that out. 
where I can go ahead and I can actually uh, increase the vibrance of just those areas and, and, and just let, let it be it, right? So I don't have to do much. Uh, let's say I want to just increase the shadows a little bit and done, right? I don't have to do anything. Now let's find another one. Let's do, let's see if we can find one that I really like. The rest is going to be sky. So look, that's most of the sky. Um, let's see if I go down here, a little bit more of the trees. Yeah, so I think I'm pretty much good right there. Because here, if you look here, and what I would have to do is I'd have to, if I wanted to do the buildings, I'd have to create this luminosity mask and then mask away um, the trees below it, which, it, which, which would be fine. But it's just a little bit more work. But you can you get the idea. Now again, this is the beta. This is not um, this is not a final version. This is a beta. So there's some bugs, most likely that beta testers are going to have to find and report. And um, so it's not 100% perfect yet. And uh, and also um, there's a lot more features. <laughs> there's a lot more features. I'll try to add a list with this video of all the features that are coming out. Uh, and also link to where you can pre-order Aurora HDR 2017. Um, I, I, it's, I'm, I'm excited. This is this is a definitely a game changer as far as HDR software goes um, because it's just definitely making the job easier without having to jump between different software. So I'm impressed. So I'm just going to hit apply, let it go back to Lightroom, and now I'll have an HDR there that I can then crop and do anything else to. But this is my first test with, with Aurora HDR 2017. I'm already impressed. So I can't wait to dig in further with um, you know, better brackets and, and better photos and, and try more of the new features out. So, um, oh, also there's a bunch of new presets, um, which is pretty cool. So, uh, yeah, that's Aurora HDR 2017.